are taking a closer look at a DeKalb County apartment complex that county officials say has had a troubled history over the last few years. 11 Alive first learned about this complex when nearby homeowners reached out about a stench coming from the villas at Embry Hills apartments. And yesterday, take a look at this. Our crew found piles of trash with everything from mattresses to furniture. Brittany Kleinpeter breaks down what the county has been against and how a new bill could help out. An apartment complex making a big stink in DeKalb County has not only been a nuisance for nearby homeowners. It smells like you had dead animals somewhere. But for county officials as well. We've had some um, consistent uh, issues with uh, just proper disposal of trash. Director of Code Compliance in DeKalb County, Tim Hardy, says the county has made a total of five visits to the Villas of Embry Hills apartment homes in the last couple of years, fining the complex over $5,200 since 2022. Complex management also have an upcoming court date at the end of this month for their latest citations pertaining to trash, lack of business license, and code compliance certification. Today, Hardy says crews went out to the complex to find the trash we spotted yesterday yesterday and issued another citation, but explains the county can only do so much. There's due process, meaning we have to uh, establish a violation. We have to issue the citation, but we don't have the ability to uh, eliminate it on the front end. It's primary reaction to what already uh, has happened. However, sponsors of Georgia House Bill 404, that's now on Governor Brian Kemp's desk, say the Safe at Home Act could offer some hope. It's a landlord's responsibility under 404 to make a home habitable. State Rep Mary Margaret Oliver says 404 is the first step to combating the war against neglected and dangerous apartments. That's a new standard for our state and we are taking a step forward. We reached out again today to the villas at Embry Hills Apartment Management and they have not responded to our phone calls or emails. DeGab County officials say because of the continued violations, they are now asking property management to switch to a county trash vendor versus their current private vendor. Reporting in DeKalb County, Brittany Klein-Peter, 11 Alive News.